Well, some people will resolve to make dietary changes because they want to live a healthier lifestyle. Others will because of allergies and health issues. The Heart and Soul Gluten-Free Bakery serves them all. We've got Elizabeth Emery here to introduce us to these Baked goods, welcome, glad you're here. Yes, thank you, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. It's, these are beautiful and they smell wonderful already. Um, Heart and Soul was created because of need, but I know you've stayed in business because of the taste. Tell us a little bit about yeah. your background and what made you start the bakery. Yeah, uh, it all started with my Easy Bake Oven. Yeah. I was five years old and I just really loved that thing. I also love raw cookie dough. Uh -huh. um, Nothing and, wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, over the years, uh, I got diagnosed with chronic illness and I needed to do gluten-free and dairy-free. And so I've just been honing in these recipes to really make something special because for a while there, you couldn't find stuff on the shelf that was gluten-free or dairy-free that also just had that good taste and was moist enough. And so. I've been able to do that. Yeah. So how many years ago was this? You, you know, however many years you're, you're just struggling because nothing's out there, but that's changed. Right, yeah, no, absolutely. And there's a lot of stuff available now, but um, it's been about five years that I've been honing on things, so. Uh -huh. And your customers are people who have these these food allergies and yes. they're people who just love delicious things, right? Yes, of course, yes. Um, what's it like for you to be able to, uh, to, to put these items in front of people that you know, really changes their world and it allows them to eat what they want again. Yeah, no, it's it's super fulfilling. It feels so good um, to provide something that people need and that they want, but also to introduce them to people who are like, well, I didn't think gluten-free could taste good. You know, it always comes off dry or whatever. And I'm like, well, here, you know, try this. And they're always thoroughly impressed. So that's yeah. really nice. Well, that's where the that's where the magic happens. You've got the, the gluten-free, the dairy-free, the vegan options. Mm -hmm. um, introduce us, yeah. I guess, everything pretty much that you brought is on this platter right yes. here. Yes, so we have have um, gluten-free lemon crinkle cookies, vegan mm -hmm. cream cheese cookies, vegan mocha peppermint donuts, and blueberry muffins. Um, what is your favorite? Oh, I, I really love muffins. Yeah. And I'm a, I, I like to, I mean, muffins are great, but I love to cut off the top and eat the topping because it's can, just my favorite. Can I do that? Maybe <laughs> oh, yeah, I yeah, absolutely, yes. Now, as I take a bite here, talk to me about what you, you know, you can't give away all your secrets, but when somebody at mm -hmm. home is thinking about baking, what are some of the swaps yeah. that, that can make this muffin okay for everybody? Yeah, um, applesauce is a great egg replacement. Um, mm. Yogurt could be a great egg replacement. Mm -hmm. And um, making sure that if you're doing gluten-free to have enough moisture in your recipe. So if you have enough, um, make sure you just have enough moisture. It's really important because mm -hmm. otherwise you're not gonna get that right consistency. And when people bite into these and they don't taste a difference. You know you've nailed yes. it. Yes, yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> and this this community of people with, with gluten-free allergies, and, and they probably really come together. What's this community of people like, and how much do they appreciate what you do? Oh, it's it's a whole community, and it's it's great. We're all super appreciative of each other. And like swapping recipes are like little tidbits of like, hey, you know, I tried this in this recipe, and so that's really fun to have that community with baking. Yep. And now that, uh, now that you know what you can eat, what you do eat, yeah. um, you know, you're feeling good. You're able to spread that to people, all your items. You've got gluten-free, dairy-free, cupcakes, cakes, muffins, loaves, cookies, donuts. So what are we seeing on screen? Yeah, that is, um, those were my blueberry crumb muffins. Then we have regular muffins, almond butter cookies, and some more donuts. Yeah. Uh, all of it's available on my website. Well, you, you know, you got, you've got you been through quite a journey to create this business. Uh, what can people learn from what you went through? You, you took a situation where you found yourself being limited, you found yourself not feeling well, and, and, and you changed it all. What do you hope people gain from your story? Yeah, no, I hope that, you know, if you're going through a rough time, like, just don't give up. Keep trying and, and find an outlet. And uh, being creative is great, whatever that means for you. I think that's really big. And, um, you know, Trust your gut, like really go after things. Yeah, well you've created something absolutely beautiful here. I know people can order uh, online through your store. We'll put that information on the yes. screen now. Thank you so much for being yes, here, we appreciate it. Um, online ordering is available and uh, catering too. You can request catering. You shop the Heart and Soul Gluten-Free Bakery online and we've got that link and this segment will be on accesscarolina.com.